everyone, it's Poupon Zombie. Welcome back to Murder on the Titanic. So we just got done sorting mail, which is very interesting. Um, red and blue letters, as well as sorting them by color. I wish my mail came in different colors. It would be so much fun. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We are going back to the storage. Aha! Saints be praised, that crowbar is a godsend, Professor. Perhaps you'll join me for a toast into the memory of young Chucky. Okay, it's not lag. We have to use the crowbar on... Oh, was... the lag has been so bad in this game. I was kind of worried. Okay, here we go. What be this? Only one bottle left. And some flashcards? Young Chucky must have found me hiding spot. No wonder you're always handed, headed up here with his lady friend. <laughs> perhaps, or perhaps Mr. Taylor was leaving you a message in case something happened to him. Obviously, the cards have been mixed up due to the rocking of the ship, but if we rearrange them, we may yet discern his message. Okay. Okay, it says... Beware the ice. That's a good message. But where the ice? What might Mr. Taylor have meant by that? I'm not surprised. Young Chucky talked in riddles a lot. What's still a mystery to me is how he found out about my whiskey. Guess he wasn't the naive lad I thought he was. Okay. Uh, okay, we have something in a journal. Met with Richard Bartholomew Greenfield III, a first-class passenger aboard Titanic, brother of Sophia Greenfield. He doesn't seem to know his sister's relationship with Charles Taylor. Is his ignorance feigned or real? We each be right equals beware the ice. Okay, to the map. And... Go. Oh, is that a leak? Odd, the water pipe seems to have burst here, similar to what we saw at the control room. And the contents of this room are strewn about. Was there a struggle here? We best have a look about. Okay. Oh, there's a nice statue there. Oh, look. Sparkly place. What's here? A lot of stuff. That is a creepy mask. Not seeing on the granite. There's a tie. Okay. Whoa. What's that down there? Look! A trail of blood! It leads to the other side of, the bur of these burst pipes, but we can't get to the other side until we reroute these pipes and shut off the steam. Oh, that's steam? Okay. We'll need to find a pipe wrench to do that. Well, we already found one. Okay. It's jammed shut. Maybe a solid hit from something will knock it free. Do I hit it with the wrench? There we go. We can use this pipe wrench to reroute the pipes and shut off the steam. Okay, we're taking a closer look. Oh, okay. Reroute the steam away from the broken pipe. To at least three of the pipes at the top. Okay. Yay, there we go. Okay, close off the steam. It's too dark to see anything in this room, and the light has been smashed. We need a lamp. I know there is one at the compass compass plaque. Okay. Compass platform. Here we go. Looks like it's gotten cold enough that they pulled down the canvas cover. It should just be tied shut. It is rather cold here. Bubonic, would you please take care of this so we can get inside and warm up? Sure. Okay. Let's get that lamp and head back indoors. <laughs> First, let me find it in this pile of a lot of stuff. Why is there a doll out here? <laughs> oh, 
Hello, parrot. Okay, that is an African grey, by the way. One of the um, smartest animals in the world, actually. Not sure about in the world, that's what a couple of sources said, but definitely close to the dolphin. There's a pearl necklace wrapped around the rope. Okay. And... Lamp. It's lit. It's lighter before we leave. Okay. Yay, it's lit! And grab it. Okay. To the map! There's a lot of debris strewn about this room. The lamp's light will help us. Okay. Oh, we don't. We're not. Oh, there's there's the lamp. Okay. I'm so strong. <laughs> okay. Where to place it? But, oh yeah, place it here. how each thing has a neat little place where it can go. Okay. Oh! oh! Whoa! That is scary! Good lord! This man is known to us! It's Mr. Greenfield's manservant, Miles Samuelson. Is he? Oh. Dead. His throat has been slashed. That explains the source of the bloody trail. He must have been attacked elsewhere, but managed to crawl here. But look, there's something in his hand. Yes, it looks like a woman's handkerchief, with the initials SG embroidered on it. I think now, more than ever, it is imperative that we locate Sophia Greenfield. That is, that is really scary looking. He's just staring out at you. Journal. The initials SG on a handkerchief clutched by the corpse of Miles Samuelson. Do they stand for so Sophia Greenfield? Did she kill the manservant? Back to the map. Ugh. Did not expect that. That gave, that gave me chills. So, um, when they said second murder, they meant that literally. Okay, there she is. There you are, Professor. I was just about to give up on you. As you can see, I have found my sister. I understand you've been looking for me. What is this all about? It's a bit complicated, I'm afraid. I'll explain it in detail at your suite, but first I'm afraid we've got we've some terrible news. We discovered the body of your manservant. It appears that he has been the victim of murder. Miles? Dead? Surely you must be mistaken. I'm afraid not, but he survived long enough to offer us a clue to his killer. A bloody handkerchief mon monogrammed with your sister's initials. What? No, I couldn't! You must be mistaken! Chapter 5, The Conspiracy I have no idea how many chapters are in this game, by the way, guys. <laughs> but this is getting really good. The admission that this is your handkerchief, Miss Greenfield, you've been implicated in two murders. First, your forbidden lover, Charles, and now your brother's manservant. How could you be so cruel, Professor? First, you tell me of Charles' murder, and then, in the same breath, accuse me of killing him, and then Miles, who has served my family faithfully for years. 
He's only stating the evidence as he sees it, Miss Greenfield. Well, I suggest you continue to investigate, Professor. I would never kill Charles. Why, I would have died for him. I'm convinced Charles was on the verge of some kind of discovery of evil intent aboard this ship. He wouldn't confide in me until he was certain. But his murder must mean that he got too close to the truth. Perhaps, perhaps it is as you say, miss. We'll have to let the facts aside. In the meantime, Mr. Lightoller, I think it would be best if you could escort Miss Greenfield to the custody of the ship's sergeant in arms. Very good then. Come with me, miss. I'm inclined to believe her. Something doesn't add up with all this. Miles Samuelson is a large man. I sincerely doubt a woman of Miss Greenfield's size could do him in. Well, if she knew judo, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I think there is a deeper mystery playing about tonight. Perhaps we'll find some clues here in the parlor suite. But, Professor, we will do that at a later time because this is the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!